Hey, you made it. Great. This wasn't too hard to find, right? Perfect. I mean, I guess in reality I could have just picked you up myself, but I figured this wouldn't be too bad of an idea, right? Like a little bit of something, maybe a little bit of a walk afterwards. Excellent. So, um, I thought about a good place to go off to for a first date, and I thought about the flowers and the pomp and the circumstance and the really nice outfits, and you know what, I just, man, on a first date, that's just not my thing. Those, those should be saved for really special occasions, you know? I Anyway, um... So I thought we'd keep it simple, and if you will get into this cab with me, I will take us to our destination. Trust me? Awesome. Let's go. Yeah, this is us. Yeah, ice cream. That, that, that's okay, right? Okay, because, like, ice cream keeps it simple. You know, it's something you can both enjoy, and you can just kind of... You can just kind of do whatever on the date, you know? There's just no pressure, and I think that's the most important thing when it comes to a first date, is that there's no pressure, and... Oh my god, I'm rambling now, aren't I? (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to... I'm... Uh... I'm a little bit nervous. I I don't know why. I've I've been on plenty of dates before, but... uh, Anyway, uh, yeah, go ahead and order. I got it. Yeah, no, are you kidding? Absolutely, I got it. I asked you on the date I'm treating you. 100%. What on earth did you get? Neapolitan? Really? I don't know, I always thought you were like a simple... strawberry... vanilla, maybe mint chocolate chip kind of person. Well, I, I, I mean, you know, you're... Like, you're safe and you're practical. Not not let's safe in a bad way, but like you're practical and you're sensible and it, it doesn't look like you take a ton of risks or anything. And so, uh, vanilla, it, you know what? Now I'm feeling like a really huge dope because Neapolitan is basically vanilla and strawberry and chocolate in one selection. And I'm just going to kind of shut up now because <laughs> I've talked myself into a hole. Uh, what I get? I got... So I'm gross. You're, you're, you're gonna barf the moment that I tell you this. I got strawberry ice cream with real strawberries, Reese's peanut butter cups, and gummy bears in a waffle cone. I told you you were gonna gross out. <laughs> I told you. Listen, here, here. The most important thing... Here's the most important thing you gotta know about me right off the bat, okay? I'm not shy about junk food. I love me some gummy bears. I love me some Pringles. I love Reese's peanut butter cups, and I love Butterfingers. You could pretty much, you could, yeah, it's safe to say you could pretty much get me to do anything if you threatened me with Butterfingers or Reese's peanut butter cups. I, I, I think, I think that'd be a pretty easy go. And uh, I love beef jerky. I, okay, all right, beef jerky isn't necessarily considered junk food, but like, it's in a nice combination, right? I mean, it's right there next to the Pringles. And you look at the Pringles, and you're like, hey, salty parabolas, these are really nice. And then there's like, hey, peppered beef jerky, this could go along well with it too. And then you have a bunch of salty stuff, and you're like, I need something sweet. And then you go a little bit further down the aisle, and there's Butterfingers, and it all just kind of like works together, right? <laughs> no, but I've, I've basically given you the, uh, the thought process whenever I have cheat day, so. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 this isn't cheat day, but, uh, for you I can make a special exception. Is it good at least? Good. Good. So, um, listen, I, uh, thank you for, uh, saying yes. (laughs) No, I didn't, it's not like I thought you'd say no, I just, well, no, that's not true. I... Here's the thing. Every time... Whenever you want to ask somebody out, you you kind of face the risk of asking somebody and getting embarrassed, right? Like, 
you can tell somebody you're romantically interested in them and they're either champs about it and they're like, hey, I've got a boyfriend, but, you know, kudos to you for, for reaching out like that because that takes a lot of courage and I really admire you for that. Or it can go really bad and they can be like, I'm straight as an arrow and I don't, I'm not interested, no. And it's, it's like, you know, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not saying lay down on the table and let's go at it, but I just, I'm just, I'm interested in getting to know somebody and sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm just not, you never know if you're even going to get to the first date. So the first date seems like a big deal, but you also can't make too big of a deal out of it, you know? Like, it's really, I don't know, call me old-fashioned, but I feel like it's really important to talk on a first date, so, like, I don't like the whole dinner and a movie thing, because, I mean, I guess it works for some people, but there's this awkward, like, hour and a half or two hour long silence where you're watching the movie, and you kind of, I feel like, I feel like the movie theater is the perfect place to, like, make a move, right? Like, where you want to hold somebody's hand. And you just ask this person out of a date, like, you don't know if they want to hold your hand or not. I mean, I guess if you've, I guess if you've known them for a long time, you probably have a, at least a modest idea, but I don't know. I feel like the first couple of dates are, it's just really important to talk to the other person and just get to know them for a while, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit of a stickler like that, I guess. It's not a bad thing. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, so yeah, so thanks for, thanks for saying yes. I appreciate it. it <laughs> I appreciate it. God, this isn't a, this isn't a goddamn business meeting. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I just, I, I'm, I'm really excited and now I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, 20 questions? I mean, who the hell knows if we'll get through all 20, but... If you have questions you want to ask me, then by all means, go for it. Shoot. No, 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 it's okay. You can ask that one. When did I know? Well, um, I knew pretty early on. I, um, I was 12. There was a girl in class who had really, really beautiful hair. I mean, it was just, it was... It was the softest thing I'd ever felt. And she sat in front of me in class. And all I wanted to do all day long was just reach out and just touch her hair. And I'm like, not in a weird, creepy sense. You know, because like when you're 12, you don't really know anything yet. It, You know, it's like when you go on a date for the first time when you're a kid, you don't know what actually constitutes as a good date. You just know that you were on a date, right? So like... I didn't know what it meant that I was obsessed with, like, her and her hair, but by God I was, and, like, I wanted to sit there and I just wanted to, like, braid it and touch it and just let it slide through my fingers, and, um, and it never, I knew that it was different, but I didn't know if it was weird, and it took me a while to kind of understand what exactly it all meant. Um, I just knew that I didn't really have any kind of an interest in boys, but I loved Jesse Flanagan's hair. <laughs> it, it was, it, it was kind of an obsession of mine that whole school year, and that's, that's where I picked up trying not to be weird, really. Um, so when I got a little bit older, um, courtesy of my parents having a subscription to HBO, um, I saw on a late night special, I saw two women kiss for the first time and it rocked my world. Um, I, I didn't know what it meant. It, it was, it was a little shocking to me cause I'd never seen two women kiss before. I didn't know that was a thing that women could do. And it was really hard for me to look away. That's the thing that I remember most was I, I was just, I was kind of captivated by it and it didn't, it didn't turn into anything really like sexual, but that was enough. And that was kind of around the time where I was like, you know what? I think, 
I think that's what I want to do. I think I just want to kiss girls. <laughs> I think I don't, I'm not really interested in boys. And, and I know that it was, it, it was different and like, not in a bad way, but it was just, you know, everybody was off going after a boy and I didn't have any interest in it. And there were some people who were asking you why you don't have a boyfriend. And it, it was a different time from now, you know? And so it wasn't like I could just sit there and be like, because I'm gay as a daisy in May. I, I just, you know, I kind of just had to say, well, I haven't found a right boy yet. And it was a complete bullshitty lie. <laughs> and um, I had a really good friend at the time. And I told her that I thought differently from everybody else. And she didn't really know what I meant, so... There was one time I went out to a, to a blockbuster. Yeah, you remember blockbusters, right? Oh, hell yeah. Before Netflix. Back when, <laughs> back when having five bucks to rent a movie meant something. Um, I went out to a blockbuster and I found not that same film that I saw, but I found another one that had, uh, that had two women kissing in it. And I rented it one night and I got her to come over to my place. She, she, she and I would have sleepovers, like purely platonic sleepovers all the time. And I never had any romantic feelings for her, but I didn't really know how to tell her that without making her feel kind of threatened, you know? And so we sat down and we watched this movie and we got to this scene where these two women kiss and, and she just kind of, she kind of looked at the screen and then turned to look at me and realized I was looking at her and... I suddenly went into a panic because I was, I mean, here I was, this baby gay, and uh, she, she was cool about it, but I didn't really present it the right way, because then we went through this really strange, like, two-month period where she thought I was trying to come on to her, and that's why I showed her that particular scene, and, uh, and then I had to tell her, no, 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 that wasn't... <laughs> That wasn't, that was me being stupid. That wasn't my intent at all. I just didn't know how to tell you. And, and, uh, we were pretty good friends after that. She was, she was cool with it. And, and I don't know that I ever let her know how much I appreciated that she reacted the way that she did, but she was the first person that came to my defense when, uh, when people would ask me why I didn't have a boyfriend. Because, you know, in high school, it's like, you, you feel like the world it's just like right there and it's huge and it's humongous and it's like four years out of your life, right? Everything just seems so dramatic in high school. That's why high school sucks. High school and junior high. It's the worst two, worst two years. The worst, <laughs> the worst six years of your life. I'm still nervous. I'm going to start eating this waffle cone now before this thing melts. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, how about you? When did you know? Really? Late bloomer? Did it, was it, was it harder for you because you just didn't know? I mean, you never, like, looked at girls in any particular way until then, or? Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, societal expectations, man. Societal expectations suck. Especially for those reasons. So what did you do? talk to some people. Yeah, usually not a bad place to start. So let me ask you a question then. Is this, is this your first girl date? Okay. Okay, no, I, I mean, I, I don't care that it's not. It's just, if, uh, if it was, I was going to have a better understanding of how to kind of play out the remainder of the evening. Not that it really would have changed that much, but if all had gone well, I'd would have considered a little bit more any other dates. I mean, if any other dates were something that you'd want to do. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. I mean, it, so you haven't gone on a whole lot of dates other than this one. So, so what would you say? Are, are you like, not that you need to have a label or anything, but do you identify as, as a lesbian or are you bisexual? Don't know yet. That's fine. No, I'm not worried about it. You kidding? 
<laughs> if I'm perfectly honest with you, I'm not worried about much right now, other than how embarrassing it must look that half of this ice cream cone has dipped down the side of my hand. And uh, I, I said that ice cream was a good date idea, and you're steadily eating that Neapolitan, and I can't get through this waffle cone because I keep staring at you. <laughs> I, damn, you're cute when you blush. Um, I'm serious. I, I'm... Can I be honest for a second? So, I have, um, I've intentionally said things just to see if I could get you to blush. Oh, oh yeah, of course I was flirting with you. Okay, I, <laughs> so I know I can't dance. I dance badly to songs. I realize that. But every so often, like, a, a, a wink or a little bit of a hip thrust kind of it, 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 Yeah, well, I was trying to flirt with you. I mean, I didn't know <laughs> You weren't saying no, so I just kind of kept going. I, here, here's the thing. I figure if I try to flirt with somebody, I figure that the best case scenario is they will tell me when they're uncomfortable and I will immediately cut it out because I get it. You know, if you don't, if you don't want a girl flirting with you, then just tell them you don't want them flirting with you. And if they're not, you know, a huge douchebag, they'll, they'll back off, right? And so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try. And you never said no, so I was like, pretty sure I'm doing okay here. Like, I didn't even really know that you had any kind of interest in me whatsoever until you said yes to tonight. Straight up, not even kidding. Even when you were blushing at things, I'd tell you. Because you could have just been blushing. I mean, for all I know, you could have just been, you know, you could have just been flattered. Because, you know, I've, I've had some straight friends before, and I've, I've flirted with them, and they've appreciated this, the, the flattery, but they've, you know, it's not like I was asking them out on a date. I was just telling them sincerely, hey, damn you look gorgeous in that dress. Or, no, that makeup selection is awesome for you. Your face is, like, kissable now. I, well, okay, yeah, so sometimes when you're telling somebody those types of things like you mean them like you personally are saying that but like i also know they're not interested in me but i mean as long as they don't feel threatened by it you know i don't, I don't really have a problem being like you know <laughs> one of my friends okay here's a good example for you so one of my friends once bought this awesome black dress for this formal event that she was going to and she wanted to know if i thought it didn't look professional if it was just a little bit too sexy you know and, uh, and so my response to her was, uh, you know, she's like, she's like, do I look too sexy in this dress? And I said to her, uh, <laughs> I said, I said, you look absolutely fuckable in that dress. And she kind of looked at me and she sort of shook her head like, no, like, please don't do that. And I, I backed off and I apologized and I've never said anything like that since, um, but the answer to her question was, yes, it was just a little too sexy <laughs> for th for the event that she was going to, right? Um, and, like, that's all I need to say is just, is just tell me to back off, and absolutely, I will respect your boundaries, and I'm not going to push any further, but I, I mean, I don't know. I, I like flirting with girls. I, I like, I like making them feel good about themselves, and if they don't want the attention, then I'm, I'm fine with not giving it to them either, you know? Does that make me weird? Well, limitations, boundaries, all that stuff, that's really important to me. I mean, that's... That's why it took me a little while to ask you on a date, because I just wanted to be sure. Yeah. Ice cream is still good? Good. Um... So in the uh, flattery category, I have to say, uh, you look really good tonight. I don't care that you're wearing sneakers and jeans and a t-shirt and an old university jacket. You look good. You do. You look very comfortable, very casual. You look confident, really. No, confidence is sexy. Confidence is really sexy. <laughs> okay, okay. I, w I wasn't going to say... Look, just because I told that story about a friend of mine asking if a dress was too sexy meant that my answer was she was fuckable did not mean 
<laughs> that you were to insinuate that if I said you were confident and that it's sexy, that I would throw you on the table and do you. That's not... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, if you wanted to see me blush, then I think you succeeded, because damn. I... <laughs> oh my god. Forward. Okay, I'll have to remember your forward. The hell you aren't. You don't just say that to somebody. <laughs> Okay, okay, maybe, maybe it's a taste of my own medicine, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you look you look comfortable and confident, and confidence is sexy, but I'm reserving everything else for a later time, if it happens to go that far. That's, that's... <laughs> Damn it, now I'm, <laughs> now I'm all flustered. That's not fair. You can't turn the game back on me like that. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm gonna sit here and eat this ice cream to help cool down the temperature in my face now. Thanks. Thanks. I, no, I don't have to be the only suave one here. You can you can definitely pull your weight on that too. Hmm. I mean, by this point, all the gummy bears are gonna melt off the damn thing, and they're gonna be in the bottom of the cone by the time I get anywhere. And and the Reese's probably. Well, um, how about this? You seem well to be well and done with yours, and I can grab a couple of napkins and wrap them around mine, and... What do you think? Do you want to go for a walk? Maybe go back to the place where we met, and... Kind of... No, I'm having a good time, too. I am, really. Yeah? Okay. Well, then I'm in no hurry, either. So what else do you want to know? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, so you were sitting there and it was like this formal event, right? And and so the requirement for, like, for like band was we were supposed to wear all these, like, we were all wearing these neckties, and I'll be damned if I knew how to tie a necktie at that point, so one of the guys in the class took it from around my neck, and he did it on himself, and then he gave it back to me, but the problem was the tie was, like, too damn long, like, it was it was literally, like, down to my crotch, and so I kept telling him, I kept accusing him of swapping ties with me because his was suspiciously short, but mine was suspiciously long. And it was just like, you can't be the tallest guy in the class and give me, like, your tie. And he's like, I didn't give you your stupid tie. I didn't give you my stupid tie. And, and so I had to go and do this performance in these really nice black slacks, this nice white button-down Oxford, and this long-ass tie. <laughs> like, I looked like I didn't know a thing about looking good at all, you know? Yeah. Um... Listen, I'm having a really... Holy shit. Look at the time. I... Yeah, it's... It's it's in the middle of the night. Early morning? I... How, how are we still on this park bench? <laughs> how has nothing not happened since we've been here? Oh my god. Um... This is probably a really awkward time to say that I have to work tomorrow morning. But... I have to get up for work in a couple of hours. <laughs> and I'm gonna need a lot of coffee. Um, I really don't want to call it here, but I, I think, I think we're going to have to, for the sanity of our other co-workers, I think we're going to have to, you know, uh, maybe, yeah, okay, um, or, you don't live too far away, right? Like, I mean, you're not going to be walking in the middle of the night back to your place, right? Okay, all right, really easy for you to call a cab. No, 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 I get it, I just... I just want to make sure that you're going to get back, okay? That's all. And I'll stand here. I'll stand here and get one for you. How about this? Listen, um... Thank you for doing this with me tonight. I had... I had a really good time. Um... You want to do this again? Uh, here, actually, you know what? Why don't you take my number? And I'll let you call the shots for... If you want a second date or not, Okay? So, okay, there you go. So that's my number. You can text me, and I'll have yours, and we can go from here, all right? Not to be too insanely forward or anything, but, um, would it be, uh, <laughs> be alright if I kissed your cheek? It just, you know, like a good night. <laughs> All right. Cool. 
Oh. Thank you again. And at the, at the very least, just text me and let me know that you get home safe, okay? All right. Thank you for tonight. I'll see you later, all right?